The last area of memory that we're going to take a look at and that is important to us as application developers is the Program Global Area, or PGA. Whenever an application connects to Oracle, Oracle creates a session for the connection, much like an operating system will create a login session if you were to connect to a remote server. This session in Oracle has memory associated with it, and this memory is part of what is called the Program Global Area. Now, unlike the areas of memory that we just looked at in the SGA, which are shared across all users and all processes in Oracle, the memory associated with an Oracle session is private. This block of memory will only be used by its associated login session. What does Oracle use this memory for? There are two primary areas. The first area is the SQL work area, which just like the name implies, is a work area for any operations that need to be performed by SQL statements executed by this session. So if a SQL statement has to perform a sort, this is the area of memory that Oracle will use to perform that sort operation. If a SQL statement has to create a hash table in order to perform a hash join operation, again, it is this block of memory associated with this individual session that will be used to perform this work. The second area of session memory is what is known as the private SQL area that contains information relevant to SQL statements being run by this session. This includes information like the bind variables used in a SQL statement and state information about the SQL statement itself. What is important to realize is that every connection to Oracle does take up some memory on the database server. The amount of memory used depends on a number of factors. If you're just executing very simple SQL statements, then the memory associated with this login session will be relatively small. If you have queries that are doing large hash joins and sort operations, though, these login sessions will take up much more memory. We'll talk more about this in the next module when we discuss connection pooling, but what you want to take away from this discussion is that every connection to Oracle does use some memory on the Oracle database server. So you don't want to open up a lot of unnecessary connections that are never used by your application because you're going to be wasting memory on your Oracle server. And this is memory that Oracle could use for other purposes.